Hello everyone and welcome to our first ever Halloween special. I'm uh, Flat Cat Piper, your mummy for the day. And I am an accident mummy. And my little friend, the biter. And we are gonna have some fun. We're gonna review uh, Maple Shadow, the new offering from Sutcliffe. Sutcliffe, we're gonna see if it takes over uh, some of the beloved favorites like Autumn Evening and Sleepy Hollow. For you guys on the live chat, uh, we're going to actually ask you some questions so, so you can interact with us. And we're right there in the live chat with you also. So, let's get the party started. Alright. Let's start like we usually do with popping the tin. We're going we're gonna to get this open and see you know, what it smells like. And see if this is actually a one that we would like to have every year or not. I hope you like it because you have a big It's a big one, yeah, we bought it at the show. It's actually hard to find now. Oh, probably. Yeah, it's actually sold out many places, so so if we like it, we're lucky. Hey, wow. See? What, did all that smoke come out of it? That's, that's yes. pretty special. <laughs> that was special. I can smell it already. That's, don't you? It smells really good. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh, it feels a little moist, actually. What are you smelling there? Hmm, I smell a little bit of, like, spices. Okay. Like, for pumpkin spices. Oh, okay, okay. In a little fall. Hey guys, I don't know it's how so these glasses are staying on because I have no ears to put it, so if they fall... And you can barely see. I can barely smell, but... <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't put holes on your nose. It smells like, it maybe it's because I like them so much, but it smells like pancake and syrup to me. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's what it smells like to me. Pancakes and syrup? Yeah. Let me take another whiff. Take another whiff because, I don't know, maybe that's what I want right now, some pancakes and syrup. I don't smell pancakes. No, you smell spices. Mm. Okay. Well, let's go with that. I get my friend. Mini, mini me. Yeah, I'm going to open this that I got from Levoy Leathers. I like this thing because um, it has such a light color and, and so the tobacco shows better. I'm guessing it's from Texas. Maybe. That's a good guess, you think? <laughs> I think it's a very good guess. All right, so I'm going to put this together. You need help? I got it. I got Ooh, it. Oh, awesome. With this fingers, I can barely feel, but I got it. All right. So tell me about the moisture because I don't actually think I'm it's, it's a little moist. Okay. It's a little moist. Will you say mild or medium in terms of the moisture? Mm, medium. All right, put it in here. Put a big chunk. All right, so that's what we got for the moisture. It looks like a ribbon cut. I think that's more than enough. That's what I see with my tiny mm -hmm. eyes. And ah uh, yeah, and. I just got some pipes from MBSD Pipes. And this is what I got. It's a Don Carlos Lovat. Huge Lovat, by the way. Yeah. So I won't have problem showing this in camera. And it's a one note from Don Carlos. And it's actually... I haven't tried it. It's going to be my first maiden voyage of it. And for you, I got you this. So this is also like a like a, not a, I don't know if you call it a yabo, but I wanted to show off how they actually package things because we're gonna do a, a giveaway and for the giveaway the winner is gonna get this Savinelli and I quickly took out the bubble wrap I'm sorry but I'm gonna show you a picture of what you're gonna win but I'm gonna keep it like that because I just want you to receive it just like they wrap it alright but go ahead and open your pipe yeah, you, you, you don't know what it is? Cause I, I didn't have tell no you. idea. I didn't know. I thought it was yours. No, that's one's going to be for you because it's filtered. It's actually a filter pipe. Um, we have this little tables. And this is like a magnet. Yeah, like a, like a magnet for your... Yeah. Um, for your fridge. Yeah, as you guys see, we have a a movie playing in the background and part of the giveaway that we're gonna do is for you guys to answer some questions and one of them includes telling guessing what movie that is in the background 
Well, they, they, they really packed this good. We did not put a movie that's so well known just to make it a little harder, but hey, some of you may just know what it is right from the back, so. If you are there in the chat and you want to help some people out and you know what the movie is, you can go ahead and say it. And they that, that helps for their for the video that they're going to make a VR to win the Savinelli pipe. I, I don't really think that that movie was so popular. No, that's what we put but it up. you probably up have time to... <laughs> to research it, to right? To research. Oh, look. Now, this giveaway is going to be pretty quick, guys, Second because end. we live in here November 10th, so I, I want to mail this out to you guys. Um, I'm waiting for some uh, more poker cards. If we get them, we'll put that in the giveaway, and I... Uh, oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> this is the wrong one. <laughs> That's the how oh man. That's hey, the one we're gonna give in the giveaway. You 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 can't see crap, can you? <laughs> I can't see crap. All right, guys. So, I have to tell you a little story. Tell me, tell them a little story about a clumsy guy. And I'll, and I'll show you what he you tell the story. This is what you're gonna win in the giveaway. By the way, go ahead, tell them the story. I left him alone for a second. I heard a bang. Mister Clumsy over here, because he cannot see. Uh, Oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> he could not see. It's getting spooky. Yeah. He he tumbled on, on his own feet Dang and it. ended up hitting his head on that wall. Actually, he broke the wall. Yep. I, I have a hard head for sure. Oh, my gosh. I was like, why is he not bleeding? So if you see blood coming out from here, yes. you know, actually, yeah, look at that. But if you actually see real blood coming out, it's because I, I have a big gash there right yeah. now. I put some ice, but um, I don't know. Hopefully, I'll be okay. So, I'm we made him some holes. <laughs> so, the, re the real reason for this custom is because I started bandaging myself, and I said, you might as well bandage your whole body, right? There you go. There we go, yeah. So, that's how it worked. All right. So, now, that's the so pipe. So, that's, that's what you're going to get. It's and, really pretty. And this Very is well. your pipe. Maybe. <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. We don't know. This anymore. is making this very interesting. All right. Well, while you do that, I'm I was gonna... kind of curious because you don't usually get you know, that. Was more like a manly pipe, and I was like, yeah, yeah. no, pipe. it's hopefully. I, I keep opening presents. Maybe this is mine. Oh lordy, lordy. Can you don't burn? Your... Don't burn your your hand. I keep opening. I keep opening here. And the first ever uh -huh. burning yourself alive on camera. I know. Well, I did that already. Remember? Yeah, you burned your thigh. I remember. Yeah. I remember. I'm like kept going I'm like that. Oh, that's kind of painful. All right. You get there. That doesn't seem like it either. This is this is gonna this is gonna be interesting. Okay. Oh yeah, that's it. There's the filter. Oh, there, there we go. go. So but this, know, there's nothing else here. Right? Showing this is wow. a this is a caminero, and usually it has it like it feels a, like Christmas around here. Like a little mustache. You see that? I don't have one. <laughs> Are you trying to tell me something? No. <laughs> so that one has a little mustache. Again, it's one of the cute? one of the shapes I like, and um, and I thought it it would go go good yeah. because it's black. Now we will ha we have some other pipes I coming. I needed a golden one today. I know. I'm so sorry. Yes, you did. Well, thank, thank you for opening all that. Sure. I'm glad Good I finally Lordy. got to mine. Guys, I really hope that you are having a wonderful. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see a damn thing. Can I help you? No, it's okay. Halloween next year. I'll give him a different. Uh... I need a custom. I can see. <laughs> Wait a second. That's funny. Why is the smoke coming out of my eye? <laughs> I don't know. But it's coming out of everywhere. Look. This mummy's all messed up. Can you see me? I can see. Okay, where's my girl? Oh, here we go. Okay, guys. I don't think it's a good idea to smoke with our mummy cut too. I, yeah, he may catch on fire. By the time that we're done. By the time we're done, you'll see my face because all oh, this is going to be open up in fire. And you can see the big hole on his head. Yeah. All right. 
So. So far so good. Really? Testing a little bit of the very slight uh, kind of uh, sweetness on it. Now this thing has dark bark and tucky. Um, it has a it has a little bit of a topping, supposed to have like a maple topping on it. So how about the rumino? What do what do you have? You smell anything yet? Not yet. All right, no. let's do it one more time. We still have to work a little bit on it. Look at all the smoke. It's a, it's a, it's a smoky <laughs> smoke. It's the one for an outside. Do you smell anything on it? Not yet. Well, since it's inside of my custom, I smell something. You do? It has, a, a, to me, it has a little bit of a maple fall smell to it. No pancakes? No pancakes. No pancakes. Okay. Just kind of a, when you go into the woods and um, it's like that, uh, I don't know, I don't want to say musty, but like a, here yeah, like a woodsy, uh, you know but what? then with I, a little bit of maple. I'm going to start doing my, my own here. There you go. Oh, there you go. I was able to do it through the hole. Watch. Oh, wait. There you go. <laughs> that way it won't go back into your eye. Yeah. Smoke it to my eyes. All right. So we're going to keep smoking it throughout while we talk about other stuff. And we'll give you our rating and review at the end. If you get a smell later, just let us know. So as you guys know, whoever saw the shorts, I had ranked, I had put some videos um, that I recommended that had a Halloween theme. And I did a, a kind of a top five of me. Now, I was very strict with my list. I only included movies that strictly had some kind of Halloween theme in them. And I mean by they were either trick or treating, people were dressed up, uh, and it was Halloween day. So they were strictly like that. I did not include, for example, uh, movies that were just about vampires or about Frankenstein or Wolfman. I think that we can have a list of, 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 of their own of what are the best vampire movies and what are the best Wolfman sure. movies and what are the best zombie movies and ghost movies, for sure. So that's my list. Now you did a different list. Your list was just based on... The movies that cr the scare the crap out of you. Okay. And if your they, favorites, right? My, in my favorites. If okay. they're my favorite, if they scare you, um, you know, I that's what I went for. I, I was not looking for it specifically for you to see pumpkins in it. I just wanted something to be scary. Mm -hmm. And and movies that you actually like to see during... Over and over. During this time of the year, right? Sure. Okay. So we have very different sure. lists. Very different. So I'm going to go through mine, since mine is shorter, and then I'm going to have her go through hers. So, in my list, uh, I have it somewhere in here. I've done so many things that now, where's my list? Would you like me to start? No, oh, I got it right we here. Found I it. found my list. So, now I'm going to put them in order. Uh, my top five Halloween movies with a the Halloween theme. Number five is Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. All now, right. This is you actually saw this one with me, you know. Yes, I did. It had it had a nice story to her, a plot, you know. This this girl had, finds this book, you know, and brings this book with her, and as things are happening, you know, um, they're being written in the book, you know, of, of the people. Uh, that as are, as it's happening. Yes, yes. So they have to kind of figure out, you know, what's going on in there, and it's obviously during Halloween and all this stuff. Uh, my number four is Hellfest, and this one surprised me. Uh, especially the ending. I was expecting much less from this movie. It's more like a slasher kind of movie. Mm -hmm. But uh, remember the ending when he comes back home. Yes. Yeah. I won't tell you guys so you guys see it. Yeah. See, um, I've not seen it. You it's a yes. Monster. Yes. I don't want to spoil it. But it actually, they did a pretty good job. Uh, and actually this, um, it's like a traveling haunted house carnival. It is actually really cool. I mean, if they actually did something like that. 
there were people dressed up and they would come and scare the other people there and and it was it had different section it was like a whole like a disney world but you're scary you know people and, mm. and that was pretty cool setting my number three is tales of halloween now this one is actually 10 different little movies in one uh, and they all tell like a little different story and some are funny and some are silly and some are scary but overall you know um kind of a fun one and they all kind of have the same theme of being in the same city and the same town uh, my number two is haunt this is another one where they go into a um a um a haunted house and uh, the people of the haunted house are, are kind of really creepy uh, they're also dressed in in costumes when they go into this haunted house and the haunted house is in the middle of nowhere so that itself is, is pretty creepy so that's my number two and my number one uh, is trick or treat just trick and then the letter R and treat and this one is actually four little movies Mini into movies, one yeah. yeah and they're all kind of connected together and I thought that was just a kind of a fun uh, Halloween definitely a movie to see so there you have it those are my five strictly Halloween themed movies for you to enjoy let me know if you've seen those, you know, right now in the comments below in the chat. Uh, if you like any of those, um, let me know if, if there are some of your favorites. And feel free to start writing down some of yours there for us to kind of comment. Again, we're live there with you chatting. So uh, uh, we have plenty, plenty of things to kind of chat about. All right, how about your list while right. I continue to smoke so this? So I have 10 of my, of some of my favorite movies. Um, of course, you cannot start your Halloween tradition without seeing Halloween one which is my favorite I have seen uh, I think most of them but Halloween one was the the most um, the one that I like the most I love something okay so in this movie is starring Jamie Lee Curtis and Michael Myers Michael Myers is the star the star uh, so it this movie was made in 1978 and the director was is John Carpenter and it's all about Michael Myers, who uh, was um, committed committed in a sen uh, sanitarium. Is it sanitarium? Is that you call it for murdering his teenage sister on mm -hmm. Halloween night? Mm -hmm. uh, and he was for crazy uh, people. Yeah, he was like 15 years. 15 years later, he escaped and returned to his hometown to start slashing people. Uh, one one little particular little thing that I did not know about, he knew about it, but I didn't, is that the produ uh, the production designer Tommy Lee Wallace picked up uh, two masks. He went to the Hollywood Boulevard magic shop and he picked one that it was a clown mask. And the second one was Captain Kirk from Star Trek. Of course, you know, that's William Chatner. So actually he picked uh, the Captain Kirk from Star Wars as the mask for uh, know, for him cool. as Halloween. So what, they, what he did was just cut his eyes a little bit bigger and uh, spray painted white and so the one that you're seeing actually is William Shatner. Yeah, is that that was crazy when that I read that for so sure. So my list is in no particular order. Another one of my favorite is Sleepy Hollow. Mm, I love that one. I love Sleepy Hollow, starting none other than Johnny Depp, Christina Ricci, and Mr. Christopher Walken, Walker. Uh, this was made in 1999. It's um, gothic supernatural horror. And of course, Johnny Depp and Tim Burton are, are very good friends. They have made quite a few projects together. Uh, so he's the director. And it's about an old Haitian, uh, Haitian, Haitian soldier who lost his head in the, revol in the Revolutionary War rights at night to look for his head. <laughs> oh, for your head! The thing that's uh, number three for me. I saw that one the, for the first time with you. But well, isn't it great? Yeah, yeah that, was, that was great. Oh, awesome! Uh, it was started uh, started Kurt Russell when he was way younger. That was in 1982. That's when it was made. And the uh, director was John Carpenter. And it was a research team in Antarctica is hunted by a shape shifting alien that assumed appearance of his victims. Very good movie to watch. Now, if you have not seen it, you have to see it. There's a number one and number two. Yeah, I was going to ask. Number two is pretty good, but I still prefer number one. Not as good as number one. Okay. Um, it is good. It's just that I, I, I like number one better. Okay. Which one came first? The, that one? The one yeah. that you said? Okay. The, yeah, the one with uh, Kurt Russell. That's that's the first one. 
Okay, another one of my favorite that I introduced you to is the mist. Wait a minute, I need to have some mist here. I'm gonna grab this while you do that. Okay, go ahead. The mist. That I saw for the first time with you too. With me, but exactly. And I really liked it. So the mist was starting Tommy Jane, Lori Holden, um, I think it was Marsha Gay Harden, and it was made in 2007. Uh, the director was Frank Darabont, and the writer actually was Stephen King. Oh. So uh, this is a freak storm that unleashes a species of bloody thirsty creatures in a small town when uh, the small band of citizens hold up in a supermarket and uh, fight for their lives. And this one, the end, is really surprising. It, it, it's like, oh, MJ, mm -hmm. why did this happen? Uh, but this is a very good movie. Definitely one to watch. And if Definitely. You, if you know... Um, if you want something different for the ending, you, don't you just get tired of the same endings that you already predicted? This is one of those. And, and, you and you're going to see some ending. actors that you know from other things, even yeah, from The Walking, the Walking Dead. Dead. Yeah. Two of them, actually. Three. Yeah, yeah, it was really Three good. of them are actually on, on this movie. That's one of the first things I noticed, that this guy's from The Walking Dead. <laughs> yeah, three of them. Uh, so another one, I think it's the, my number five, is Quiet Place. Uh, starting Emily Blunt and it was made in 2018. I think this is the first one. I like the first one better than the second one um, The director is John Krasinski and it's uh, Sightless aliens with sharp hearing and impenetra Impenetrable armor have taken over the planet and killed most of the human species Very good movie mm -hmm. Very 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 good movie one of my all-time favorite. I don't think they can make one just like this one. I think no, they, I and think actually, they, they tried they recently, have tried. and, and they they, have tried. it didn't have good reviews. No, it, it yeah. So this is to me one of the greatest uh, scary movies ever. The Exorcist, uh, starring Linda Blair and Ellen Burstyn, made in 1973, and the director was William Friedkin. I hope Friedkin, something like that. And you, of course, you know, it's a what young girl is possessed by a mysterious entity. Her mother seeks for help of two Catholic priests to save her life. Great movie to watch. Don't watch it by yourself. Another great movie that has a lot of um, things going on behind it. A lot of a lot of people died actually um, in in this movie. The real people, the the, the actors. So. Poltergeist, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. starting Joe, Joe, Joe Beth Williams, Greg Nelson, and Beatrice Strait. It was made in 1982. The director is Top Hop, Hopper, written by Steven Spielberg. Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. I think actually Steven Spielberg was doing another movie. That's why he couldn't do this one. But you so know, he was doing this other movie. This movie is more famous about all the stuff that happened behind the scenes and, yeah, more than what really happened. For sure. So it was a suburban family whose uh, home is invaded by malevolent ghost that abduct their youngest daughter. Did you see TV people? Mm -hmm. I actually, that one I haven't seen in such a long time. Really? I have it though. We, we, we have to. We, we have can to see it now. Yeah. Absolutely. Another one, uh, I think this is my number eight. Mm -hmm. And I think there's two of them. There's a new version of it. But I like the old version. And it's Fright Night. And it's oh, starting, yeah. yeah don't you you? I watched both. Yeah, and I, I absolutely prefer. What's the difference between between the two of them? Well, I think, think? The, the vampire in the in the original version is way much better than the vampire in the in the newest one. The only thing about the original version is the annoying character nerd guy. That's yeah. it. If if I could take that guy out, yeah. The, uh, the actor on, on this one, the one that I like, which is the first one, is Chris Sarandon. Yeah. And the actor on the one is. And the second one, the sequel, not the sequel actually, it's the same movie, they just redid it. It is uh, Colin Farrell. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I didn't like him. No, no, I, I didn't all. like him as a vampire, no. Yeah, but I did like uh, the the young man. It, it, yeah. yeah, he did that pretty good. That one he yeah. did pretty good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Actually, he did another movie that we saw together and you liked it. Yep, I yeah. forgot the, the name of it right now, but anyway. So, Fright Night is starting Amanda Beers. And I think Amanda Beers is the one from... Uh, family, what was it? Uh, uh, there's very dysfunctional family, a comedy uh, series. Family um, matters? Nope, 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 nope. Um, 
Married with children? Married with children. There you go. Thank you. She's the neighbor. She actually so did really good. She did actually pretty good on this one. One of my favorite actors, Roddy McDowell. Um, it was made in 1985, and the director was Tom Holland. And so Charlie Brewster is a horror junkie. He's convinced that his next door neighbor is a vampire. It's a very good movie. Very yeah. good movie. Old, but good. My number nine. Uh, is The Lost Boys. Yeah, we went to Santa Cruz here where some yes. of it was filmed, yeah. Yes, so um, starting Corey Ham, Kiefer Sutherland, and Jason Patrick. It was made in 1987 here, or most of it was here in California. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the director was Joel Schumacher. The, fil the film follows two brothers who move to Santa Clara. Um, actually, Santa Clara is with Santa, Santa, um, what is it called here? Where, where that? Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz. Yeah. Santa Carla really is Santa Cruz. Um, Cali, only to discover that the town is a haven for vampires. Good movie. Good Great movie. movie. Very good movie. And they also have an, uh, some other sequels. I have all three. Mm -hmm. Nothing. The first one is the best. So if yeah. you're going to go for something, go for the first one. That's the good one. And last but not least is Bram Stoker. Stroker's. Dracula, mm -hmm. starting Gary Oldman, your favorite, one of your favorite yeah, actors. that's one of my favorite actors too. In yeah. when he does a bad person, I like he a bad does. person. He does. <laughs> he does a good bad person. We don't a writer, and of course Keanu Reeves. Yeah. Uh, that was oh, wow, 1992. So mm -hmm. That was me. Mm -hmm. Director's Francis Ford Coppola. I said a Coppola, 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 Coppola. Coppola. Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, Dracula, whose lonely soul is determined to reunite with his lost love, Mina. Mm. Yeah, it, it was kind of like romantic, but at the same time, kind of. Uh, we were actually going to have it everything. in the background, but because yeah, it we had did. Some, it had some scenes, we didn't want to risk we, it and be messed up with by, by YouTube, yeah, by the YouTube uh, people. So I hope that you enjoy that list. I'm pretty sure that there's tons and tons of movies, and if you uh, are a movie junkie uh, such as I. Let us know which one are your favorite movies that you enjoy watching. I try to stay away from the kiddie, kiddie, kiddish movies, mm -hmm. like, but one of my favorite is um, Hocus Pocus. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, what is it? A um, Nightmare Before Christmas. A Nightmare Before <laughs> Christmas. So those are my favorite. I always watch them mm -hmm. uh, during Halloween, but I didn't want to go into the, oh, that's the kids' movie, yeah. you know, but that was a like paranormal. Yeah, those are kids' movies. Yeah. They're good. Though. Well, Hocus They're Pocus good. is actually it's actually pretty good yeah. all, all around. They did one too. Mm -hmm. I like first better than the second. Mm -hmm. The second was not bad, but they're making a third one and too. They're thinking of doing a third one. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they're on the works. Yeah, mm -hmm. one of the movies I like is Constantine. Oh yeah, and they're making one. the second one too. Yeah. All right. That's so let me tell you a little bit of what I'm tasting here as you oh, actually I'm work gonna, on your I'm pipe. Work on mine. Um, this one, as as opposed to you know, like a like a favor of, of everybody, Sleepy Hollow, uh, this blend. This one has um, the Kentucky, you know, the the dark fire Kentucky. It has Burley in Virginia, and and so you get a little more umph. A lot of people have told me that what they do with the uh, Sleepy Hollow is they they add something that they like, like a dark fire Kentucky or a Perique or something like that. So this one already has it. So. I can see how this one actually is gonna is gonna uh, be liked by may, perhaps more people. Um, I can already see that it's a little more complex than the Sleepy Hollow. We have a lot of the similar kind of things with it. I wish it had more Burley than Virginia, but it seems like uh, I'm tasting more the Virginia than the Burley, and uh, which. If you puff, 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 of course you can you can make it hot. I think what's helping me is the filter, probably. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's why I wanted you to have a filter one because I knew we we're gonna have a an aromatic today. So, well, so far, so good. I think the flavor profile is gonna be liked by very many. So again, if you like that that combination of Burley, Kentucky, Virginia and the flavoring of maple, you may have a new fall favorite here favorite, in the yeah. making. So yeah, I, I, I really think it's gonna it's gonna come out as one of the kind of what people talk about during this time along with the autumn evening, mm -hmm. along with the uh, the Sleepy Hollow. Uh, we just um, 
review one that's completely different because it's not an aromatic at all yazoo witch uh so there's we have you know more blends now to pick from for this time you know if you want that kind of uh sensation of something maybe uh fall maple or even strong in the case of of the yasu witch so perfect now so we're talking about this giveaway uh, we already show you the bum, pipe bum, for bum. the for the ones that are that got here late it's gonna be the savinelli it's it's on smoke it's brand new uh it's gonna come out now that i we did the package at least i'm gonna have it with this bag but we'll have to repackage it because i i almost dropped it I uh, I picked the Don't wrong one it. for her to <laughs> to open, to, to open. <laughs> but that's okay. Comes from MBSD Pipes. I will say they're the sponsors of this show for today. Thank you for uh, for this pipe to give away. Uh, like I said, if I get uh, my cars in time, I'm also gonna put a pack of the cars that you know have a bunch of the. Uh, pipe makers and some youtubers uh, for this year. Can they still order these? Yes, you can still order this if you like. They will, they're twenty dollars and the shipping according to where you live. We can work on that. Uh, and if you guys, whoever the winner is, if you like us to to sign our name in your car, we can do that too. If you don't want us to and you just want the car, that's good. But there's there's us. We're the two of hearts. Uh, and again, if you if you uh, if you can go back in the videos, you'll see a video I did about them. So I don't want to take too much time. So the first thing is, you guess what movie that is behind us. The second thing is, just tell us on UVR. You know, one of favorite movies to watch around this time could be Halloween. It could be fall. Uh, just around this time where you know the weather is getting colder and you might feel like snuggling up and and watching a movie. Um, the third thing is, we're gonna talk about now some of our favorite candy this is this is a subject i like a lot he does yeah so you know of course most everybody that watches this channel is is, is grown up and adult but if you know candies were good for you and you didn't have to worry about diabetes and all kinds of things diabetes what kind of candies would you like to have in like that little basket that little pumpkin or whatever i'll tell you the ones that i would like if it was me uh, there's some candies that I have enjoyed over the years and for sure if I were to go trick-or-treating I would like these candies to be <laughs> To be in my bag. So you want me to go first? Go ahead, man. Uh, all right, or should we go you're, one and one? You're so, you're so, you're so interested. I'm in, very excited about talking about candy for candy sure. Candy is, yes. So did you want me to say the favorite candies first or do you want me to just say the ones I like first? Actually, yeah. How about if you tell people what are according to the the internet what are the top what 10 are the top 10 favorite candies and then we'll go and tell you about ours. ours yeah okay so uh, the favorite candies number 10 snickers i like snickers yeah i yeah. like the peanuts yeah and it has a little like caramel i like uh, that it fills you up I, <laughs> this is not a meal okay all right <laughs> all right number nine hershey's mini bars Okay. I like to have the different kinds of uh, Hershey, so they didn't get. Um, they, I think they have like four different flavors in there. Yeah. I think. Not my favorite thing, but I still eat them if they put them in my basket. That's for sure. Number eight, candy corn. <laughs> it's like a love hate with that one. Some people love it. Some people hate it. You know. <laughs> I think I liked it when I was little, but not now. Not, not yeah, yeah, I know. It's just like sugar, even sugar. And, let, and you know, and one that I think when you mention candy corn, I don't know if you ever had this, but it was called, I think, circus peanuts. They were like this, this big peanut. Guys, you know, tell me if you you've seen this. I, I'll put a picture. They were like about this big, and it was all candy, and they were usually like orange. Huh? Yes, huh. yes. <laughs> and you like those? No, no, I don't. You they were too them? sugary. Yeah, I hated them. I, <laughs> okay. Did you guys like the circus peanuts? I'm gonna put a picture up so you I, tell I, me. I, I cannot say. Yeah, I'm, I I'll find know. it for you. Keep going. I'll find All it right. for you. Go ahead. So number seven, Hershey's Kisses. Oh, that I like. I love the Hershey's Kisses at me. Christmas. They have that little minty thing in there, the, the little mints. I love those. Those are my favorite. And I'm not a candy person. I really don't. But you know, but those are I really like those. Number six, Starburst. Starburst, yes. Do you yes. Like Starburst? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 
That's so crazy. Oh, Circus oh. peanuts. Oh, I've seen them. I've never eaten them. They're they don't seem interesting to me. They're super sugary. Ew. I do not recommend it. Do they, do they taste like peanuts or not? No, no, they all? It's all sugar. It's all so sugar. What the hell? Guys, they you have know, the shape, but no the flavor. Comment there if you. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe you can get a peanut peanut butter <laughs> jar and then just kind of dip them on them. No? I'm gonna yeah. put a picture about the circus peanuts. So if you guys remember that yeah, crap, okay. oh lordy. Okay, keep going. Okay, number six, star Starburst. Starburst. Yeah, you Starburst. said Starburst. Yeah, I like. Never those. mind. I number like five, them. Sour Patch Kids. Mm -hmm. My kids used to like. My kids used to like that. Both of my kids, kids love the Sour Patch yeah. stuff. Yeah. Number four. Oh, I know somebody who likes this. Skittle. Oh yeah, that's my that's youngest Lucas. son. Yeah. That's Lucas. Okay, number three, hot tamales. No, not 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 my cup of cake. Do you any of you guys like uh, hot tamales? tamales. Uh, not no. my cup of cake for sure. Number two, M and M's. Peanut M and M's. Almonds. Yeah. Do they have almonds M and M's? I don't think Did so. Did I make that I, up? I think you are making some I stuff up. I made that crap up. <laughs> but they should. <laughs> I love almonds, but I'll take the peanuts. They're gonna hear you and they're gonna have it. Watch next year. You don't want I'm this woman yeah. wants uh, uh, almonds in there. Okay, and number one, which I don't like, but a lot of people obviously like it, Reese's Cups. I don't get it, really. No, I, You know what crazy. I like? Reese's, Reese's Pieces. Remember uh, E.T.? What he leaves there? Oh, the little people? ones. Did the, they look like M&M's? Yeah, those are Reese's Pieces. They're, they're, oh. The difference is they have peanut butter. Oh, and so okay. I like those. Those I really, really like. But so you, if you guys cup, have mm -hmm. not gotten your candy yet, mm -hmm. uh, that's the list. Go get that stuff. So that's what obviously the kids like. All right. Well, let me tell you. Go what, ahead and tell me what you like. What I would like. Actually, tell me what you like. What you really, really like. <laughs> All right. So in, in my in in my actually I'm I'm gonna order them. I think I'm gonna put a, in, in a particular order because definitely what I would like to have. You know, if it was me. Mm -hmm. uh, number five, Twistlers. I don't care if it's a Twistler or a, or a licorice. I just love them. I but love that. Like pl a piece of plastic. I know, or or chewing on a candle or something. But I don't know why. <laughs> I, I I love. I am pretty sure if you put a cord on that thing, that thing light up. I love them. I just love them. You know. They have a new one that they remember that I just bought you. They have a bunch of berries on it. Yeah, no, they keep. Yeah, they, they keep they making. Keep getting better. I guess. When we went to Alaska and all that, remember they were putting different flavors on it. So I mean, they must be. Famous somewhere else, you know, yeah, for not sure. With me, but anyway. All right, that will be my number five. My number right. four will be the banana taffy, the laffy taffy banana. Oh, I love those. I could just eat those until until I I have a tummy ache. <laughs> you don't like those for one? <laughs> See from no. your list. All right, number three that I guys tell tell us what you like. See if any of you like what I like. Number three, uh, I like the the Rolo. The Rolo chocolate. You remember Rolo? Yeah. No, yeah. No. I, I used to have uh, those with my grandfather, and uh, uh, we call him as as uh, kind of a, a cute name, Nito, and we would eat some Rolos together. <laughs> my number two is the Pop Rocks. I just love putting those Pop Rocks. Pop Rocks. Yeah, you oh, put those. Oh, the, the, the little things in your mouth. And they pop, you That's know, so on your tongue. That was just. That was fun. That was fun. That I was I fun. love doing that. And my number one, I think this has been my number one for a long time, is the Whoppers. Oh, I can eat some Whoppers. Oh, okay. oh I can just I eat like some Whoppers. Whoppers. And one time I did, uh, I I got them, and then I had the popcorn in the movie, and then I, I threw them in there. And Surprise! Yes, I, I was, yeah, eating popcorn, <laughs> I would get Whoppers. That, that was great. That, that sounds was, like fun. Yeah. yeah. All right, tell me yours. But I, didn't, I thought that your number one was going to be Krispy Kremes. <laughs> Donuts. If it was, if it was a chocolate candy, <laughs> okay, right, that so was your this, list. This is Ladies Fire's favorite uh, candy. Um, actually, if it, I, I, like I said, I'm not a candy person, but if I have to eat candy and if you're going to give me some, this is the one that I would like. Number five, Mary Jane's. Oh yes, I love those. I like I, I, anything that has kind of peanuts or whatever. I like my dad loves those, and he always has some hidden somewhere. He does. Oh, awesome. Oh yeah. Number four, and I ha I have no idea because this is a waste of sugar. But anyway, I like the sweet tarts. Mm -hmm. That was a number four. My son likes those too. And number three, almond joy. My mom likes because that because I like to find I love coconut, and finding that little almond was like oh, it's like a present. 
My mom likes that. You have really? some. Yeah, she actually likes awesome. that one. Number two, Twix. Oh, Because yeah. I like caramel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And my favorite, favorite, favorite is Heath. What in the heck is that? I have Heath. no idea. Heath. Oh, Heath. Heath. Okay, I thought you said Heath. No, okay. Heath. I, I forgot to put the H. <laughs> <laughs> Heath, don't you like those? Oh my god. Oh, they're so good. I used to so have the. Those uh, are my five. Do you Absolutely. think that they had a Dairy Queen? What they call that? The. Um, they probably put some heat. Oh my gosh, I cannot put it With heat, like yeah. Uh, really? What was it? The, the Blizzard. Blizzard with heat in it? Oh, yeah. Oh, my favorite yeah. was either the Reese's so Pieces good. Blizzard or the Heath Blizzard for sure. I, lo I like Heath. All right, I, what I are like you getting? Are you, get, are you getting anything out of your pipe yet? Well, I, I stopped because I was talking, but I, I was enjoying what I, what I was having. So let me go relight. It's relight time. So, you know what? On your comments, start telling us what your favorite candies are or your children's favorite candy. I think one of the reasons that we wanted to do this, or I, I kind of wanted to, to do the hello, Happy Halloween, by the way, um, it was that, you know, this it's not about just kids. We would like to have fun too. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, and we want to... Um, enjoy halloween you know i think the next year if we if we're home i'm gonna have a halloween party all right halloween party you're gonna invite everybody in the way everybody YTPC? everybody that can come <laughs> you're welcome to come we're gonna party down all Is right it that party down? so that's another thing to put in your vr about your candies or things that you like you know if you were a trick-or-treater if you could go back in time or if you could do it now i guess or at your child, do you have good childhood experiences? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll tell you what. I'm going to give you one childhood experience from my, my daughter. Tell me. I think I already told you that. Okay, I'll hear it again. Maybe I remember. You know me, my uh, yeah. memory is bad. We uh, lived in this town that it was very, um, I, I don't want to say poor, but it was different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was different. So... My daughter was like, let's go uh, Halloween. And I'm like, okay, let's go. I kind of knew that, you know, this was not the town to do this crap in. Uh -huh. And my daughter said, like, no, she's so excited. She has a little uh, ballerina outfit or whatever that outfit was. Were you dressed up as something? Heck no. Okay. No, I wasn't. I was just, just making sure that she was safe. Mm -hmm. And um, we ended up at this house, one of the very first few houses. Mm -hmm. And she knocks on the door, Halloween. And so they like, oh, what should we do? These people brought us some oranges. <laughs> and they they filled her bag with oranges. Oh, my gosh. So you know that these are heavy. Uh -huh. My daughter said, let's go home. <laughs> I'm done trick-or-treating. F this. <laughs> How old was she? <laughs> she was like eight. <laughs> so great. So this is too much work. <laughs> yes. This shit heavy now. This is too much work. Like, how and she was like, why would they give me oranges? The guy, they have nothing else to give you, sweetie. Well, you know what? Let's, let's just get some orange juice. <laughs> Let me tell you, uh, you're gonna laugh, but my mom used to do that. She would just no way. Put, yeah, give him a take out a piece of banana and put it in there and stuff like that. And I was like, oh my god, <laughs> how embarrassing! I wanted to hide. Yeah. Did they TP your place? No, no, no. They yeah, oh, you got lucky. They didn't, but uh, it, it was definitely. It, be, it, I enjoyed that because it was a short trip. You would be justified we, we, for sure. We and went they back did. home right away. <laughs> no. That bag got heavy. No, man, giving fruits out. I mean, now, of course, you can't do that because, of course, they'll think that you're lacing the fruit with something for sure. So. Mm. Did you ever get, like, bad candy or something like, you know? No, no, uh, I no, no, no. I, of course, I got things that I maybe did not like, but yeah. no, no. I, I what never. What was your favorite costume? Uh, what that I wore? Mm -hmm. Besides this one. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I mean, I don't think I had a favorite. I, I have some things that I remember. Like I remember one time being just like, uh, I don't know. It was like a. It was a, a, a mixture between a bomb and a scarecrow, <laughs> because it was such a mess. <laughs> That it was like, I don't know, I guess I'm supposed to be a scarecrow, but it looks more like a homeless person. And, 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 and you know, it was homemade. I know? understand that. <laughs> I remember one year uh, we didn't have any money. And I said, I want to go, I want to get candy. I don't care what I have to do. So I just took lipstick and eyeshadows and messed up my whole face and my hair. Put some hairspray. Uh -huh. Let's go. Mm -hmm. And that's how I went. I remember my dad trick-or-treating with me. 
and he did that he he just had a bunch of mess up stuff and he you know he was bold and, and he painted something and he was bold I, I don't know what he was but I think when I went it was a, during the depression yeah <laughs> We didn't have shit. Uh, that's what it looked like to me. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was, he was depressive to see our customs for sure. <laughs> that was terrible. All right. So one of the things that I'm noticing, obviously, is you know because of the Virginia and the topping, it can get hot. So you mm -hmm. guys have to puff it slowly. Mine is warm. The flavor is good. Very warm. Uh, again, I think this is gonna be a good one for this time for the people that like this. For the people that like. To have a maple topping obviously if you don't like things with topping this is not for you don't don't waste your money uh, but if you like topping and you like to have something with a little more of a kick this is gonna work because I can I feel it with the dark fire Kentucky it makes me feel like I'm smoking something and it has flavor definitely has some flavor for sure yeah but I can tell that it's hot oh. Tell me a little bit about you. Your, have you smoked it enough to tell me a little bit about your experience mm -hmm, before mm -hmm, I go into something else? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Are we going to rate it now? No, not, not yet, but I just wanted you to, to tell something before I, I, I go has, into I, another subject. Actually, I think it has a great flavor. Uh huh. It is not mild, it's a little bit above it. Uh huh. Uh -huh. You know, um, just a tad bit. You mean the Nick hit or, or having like a bunch of flavors? Oh, with it? The, it has great flavors. Okay, okay. I really like, I am enjoying the flavors on this one. Okay. I would definitely put it on, on my um, uh, rotation. Okay. Um, it, it actually, it, it impressed me. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. impressed too. I'm impressed too. I'm impressed. I don't know what you, you know, did with the can. It got but... a little bit hot. Uh -huh. oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I've been throwing things on the bottom. Like okay. That. Okay. That's okay. That's all right. That's I'm all right. fine with I'm fine. Just for anybody yeah. that's here, you know, here now. You know, my love. In the chat there, if you have tried this, tell us. Tell us if if, if this is you know what do you think? I it like is, it. Yeah, it's definitely different. I love the art. You know, it has a little bit of that almost sleepy hollow. I, I wonder if they did that on purpose. You know, look at look at the tree. Yeah, yeah. Try to try to compete with, uh, you know, uh, people's favorite during this time, which is sleepy hollow. I I think it is. It gives it a run for this money. I I'll be does. honest with you. I'll yeah, be honest you with know. you. If you bought that big big jar, and I think it's worth yeah. it. There was actually no other choice. That's the only size. That's so. the only size they yeah. had, but then got, luckily, <laughs> it's, good. it's a good one. Yeah, yeah. It's I, a good one. This is a good one for sure. All right, so while we keep, before we give our thumbs up, thumbs down, let's talk about another category, some more things to uh, for you, in, including your videos, and that is things that you like to do around this fall time and Halloween time. Now, I made a list of things that I like, and then things that I wish to do because I really have not done them yet. Uh, do you do the same, or, or, or what do you? What no, was your I, list about? I actually, I actually put things that I want to do. Okay, good, good. Mm -hmm. All right. So, who you want? You want to go first or me? I think I went last first, so you can go ahead. You want to? Okay, I go first this time. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. So things that I like. I like. Uh, driving around and seeing houses and seeing the decoration. I think either that or walking around. Like I think last time we were at your friend's house and we walked oh, we around. Oh, yeah. we did. That was it. Actually, yes. It was a Halloween. They had yeah. some great decorations. You want to say hi to your friend? Hi, Kathleen. Hey. <laughs> I, uh, I like that. I really like walking around either uh, driving or walking and just seeing the decorations. Uh, one of my favorite things for sure. Same like Christmas, you know. I, I I like I like to see the lights. And, Me too. And, and I'm a light kind of person. The more lights, the better. Creativity for sure. Uh, I like putting on a costume, as you can see. I think it's fun to come up with something and dress up, you know, and have an excuse to dress up. So definitely in my list. Uh, I like to uh, if you know if if I had you know a little kid or a niece or something to go with them trick or treat I, I wouldn't mind I don't have to dress you up you volunteer yeah I volunteer but just to see the other people in the actual walk and go to the houses and see what they have I think that's fun uh, decorating a house on Halloween that would be I think that's that's also fun and just giving your own kind of taste of things that you like uh, now the things that I would like to do that I haven't done let me know if you guys have done this uh, to go in a corn maze I've never done that and I would love one day to go in a in a one a, a, a corn maze that they make for this. I, I think that would be really really cool. And the last thing that I would like uh, one day to do is uh, is to make like a caramel apple 
kind of thing. Just, we can do that. Yeah. All right. Good. Uh, those are the two things that Your I've never done. Your hands are bloody. <laughs> as long as my head is not, let me see. Am I still good? You're swollen though. Okay. All right. Yeah. For the guys that came in late, I hit that wall. That's why. All right. So go ahead. Tell me your list. Go I ahead. visited things I would like to do. Number five, buck for apple. Oh, I have makeup on most of the time, so it's kind of hard for me to try to do Apple that. But Bobby. I like to do that. I've never done that. Yeah. You haven't? Well, let's do it together. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You have to go like to a festival or something. Uh, uh, my brother knows a really? place. Yeah, yeah. Ah, number four, drink apple cider and eat donuts. Oh, I've never man. done that. I, I'm, I'm in for the donut part. Yeah, I know you were. That's, that's probably why I put that there. Number three, took a hayride. No, nope. I don't think I've no. done that. So nope. let's do it together too. Okay, so we need to do our what is it that they call the bucket list? Bucket list. The bucket list. Number two, tell scary stories. That I've done. I have. Yeah, it, it was usually in the in the youth group at church. <laughs> what scary story are you gonna tell at church? Yeah, that's what that the, the, the youth. You know that you know the scary story at church. You what? forgot to pray. You know, it was there was no church adults around. It was just when the kids were there, they would, they would scare each other with the stupidest story. All right. And number one, which I am tending to do, is host a Halloween party. I think you'll be a great host. I want to do that so bad. Let me do my... I think you'll be a great host. And now that you have this, so. this machine... <laughs> I can't see shit now. This <laughs> is so Great list. What do you guys like to do? Include that in your VR, uh, your VR for this uh, pipe that we're gonna give away. Tell us things that you like to do, and uh, or that you wish that you could that you could have done. Oh, that did you, you have done, done that is yeah. you know? Give me ideas. This is great. Tell me your experience if you've been to a corn maze. I would love uh, to hear that. Uh, well, I have not done that. whether it was good or a bad experience. You know that my first, um, my first. Um, um, pumpkin patch that we did last year that's my first one. Oh really okay that was so neat yeah the kids the kids loved it they loved it and i was running all over the place like oh my god take pictures take pictures and actually they were looking for the witch yeah and i said oh yes let's no, take they, a picture they, they say oh, we want to take we picture, with, picture the with the witch and i'm like yeah where is she <laughs> i was dressed in the witch outfit. he was you <laughs> what an idiot he was me that was funny. That was funny. <laughs> but you know what? I was into character. I had my hat and my oh, yeah. t-shirt you, and everything. I was you, in. You were a sexy in. witch for sure. Thank you. Oh. All right. So let's. We're gonna do our, our rating of this uh, tobacco, and then don't leave because we're gonna draw the names of the people that um, that won. You know the chance to have their. Well, actually, they're gonna be the four people are gonna be uh, that we draw are gonna be the ones. Um, that are gonna the, f the first four people that are, we draw are gonna be the ones in the card uh for for next year and then the fifth person that we draw uh they're gonna have a chance uh to uh something in the chicago show i think i think you're gonna have to get in touch with merrick but he wants to give you another chance uh to be there so don't worry you know four people and then the fifth one is gonna have like another chance for it now if we draw your name twice obviously doesn't count, you know. You only only one person per per car here, so uh, we'll 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 go at it. Uh, some people have more than one entry because yeah, they bought more than than, than one. Talking pack. about the Chicago show, uh -huh. I'm planning to go. Oh my god, that'd be awesome! I want to go. Are you going to be there? If you start making plans, it is in April. It yes. Is the it's week on my is it the week of my birthday? The week of your birthday. Or if you would like to give me a present, I would n I would not be offended. Or yeah, yeah, it's gonna be very close to real. Yeah, yes. a few days after your birthday. Yeah, a few. Yes, absolutely. So, um, a few people have convinced me, specifically this one. He's pulling every string there was. I've not been to Chicago, so nope. that would be a great thing. And we've never done a video covering Chicago, so we have not. That's, that's gonna be and awesome. it's gonna be. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. And you know what? We have more experience. We have done this a few times. I think in Chicago, which is going to do absolutely great. Yeah, yeah. So All right. I hope to see you. I hope to see you there. 
So let's do our thumbs up, thumbs down. Are you ready? All right, I'm ready. One, two, three. All right, thumbs up for this. Maple Shadows, great. I think it's a great plan. Uh, who wants to go first in the stars? I'll go first. Okay, go first. I'm gonna give it a four. Four, good, good score. It four is out of five. Four out of five. This is a very nice blend. Smells great. Even though it has a little moisture in it, you can light it up quick. It might light, light up. If it wasn't because I was talking uh, and getting distracted, I probably would have been able to keep it going. Um, this it smells delicious. I would say it's an inside outside smoke. Um, one of the best ones that I have tried for the fall, mm -hmm. to be quite honest with you. I think they did an awesome job. They blended very well. Um, so it, it to me has a, a, a perfect blend. To me, it has a perfect blend. The one thing, the only down note that I have on it is that it does get, it does get hot. Yep. It does get hot. So I you don't have think to I showed it to you guys, yeah, so I'm gonna show it to you. You have to be absolutely patient with it. Uh, because if you keep on I smoking it something. fast, you're going to have um There we go. There we go, that's probably the best. Yep. Yeah. So if you smoke it fast, it's gonna get hot. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. go slow with it and it's very pleasurable. Yep. I, I I absolutely I was very impressed. Well actually we agree on this one. I'm gonna give it a four also out of five. I think that I would have given higher if again it just didn't uh, have that tendency to get hot. Maybe it's uh, minor technical. I know it's just so you have to kind of pace yourself and kind of know you know right off the bat that that can happen and, and just manage it. You know, um, if he would have not done that, I would have given higher. I would also I would have put a little more burley in this Virginia again just for my own taste, just because I like the burley more than the Virginia taste. Mm -hmm. But you could. But I like the fact that he has um, that he has the dark fire to give it some kick. And if you guys have it seen, it does. It's not one of those mild. It doesn't have a kick to it, yeah. even though it has some some uh, nuances and whatever. It's not like blah. Yeah. It has some pep to it. Yeah. And if you guys have ever you know seen my videos, you know that I love Larakia, so of course I would add Larakia to it and that would make it perfect for me but again that's just that's just my taste. It's really good. It's but really good. Four out of five that is not. Are you saying that they don't have this anymore? It's gone? It's hard to find now yeah because it. uh it, it kind of sold out really fast. Uh, always, I don't I don't blame them. Yeah though. always you know keep checking the different uh, places online and some places you know they they kind of have things later on so you might get lucky. Uh, and like always, I think this is gonna be a uh, a seasonal thing, so I you know for sure they'll have it next year. So, all right, I think my glasses it, are falling it off. It may be seasonal, but I, I will smoke that all year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And some exactly, some people might like it's to really smoke it good. all year. It's, it's that good. It's that good. All right. So congrats, whoever did the mixing, did a great job. So for everybody that came in late, again, we're doing a, a giveaway of this beautiful Savinelli pipe, brand new. And maybe more things in there, like the the poker cards, etc., with the people's faces on it. Uh, but right now we're actually gonna we're gonna pick some names, and I think you're gonna have to pick them because you can't see. I don't. Yeah, and I don't know about my fingers. Like I said, if your name comes in out twice, that we can we can shuffle it with that if you want. If your name comes out twice, uh, only the first four people. Actually, let's do this. Let's just draw. Uh, We'll draw four people, and again, those are the ones okay. that that for sure are gonna be in the in the in the cards uh, for 2024. So go ahead and let's do it. All right. Start drawing there. Da -da 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 -da. Can you read? Can huh? I just give them to you? Oh, you you can open it as, as oh, you okay. as you pull them out. So number one or number four. I didn't even read it. And I can't see it either. What does that say? Tell and me. And it says Theodore Schramm. Theodore Schramm. Theodore Schramm. All right. You're the f first one that's going to be on those cars. Theodore Schramm. Oh, let me write him down. Number two. Alvin. Alvin. My friend Alvin. Uh, you know Alvin, he's, he's in every show. He's... The other gentleman that you always has the the shirt that has like the 
the heartbeats with the pipe. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah. I'm glad that he got to be in the cars. He's Good. in the cars. Yeah, Theodore Tram. Oh, go. I don't know how to say her name. I think it's Leanna. Leanna Wolf. Leanna Wolf. All right. The number third person on the car. Leanna Wolf. Anya Wolf. M. Wolf. All right. And number four. Can count him because he already has it. <laughs> All right. Well, just to show so they know, just in case they don't think it's somebody else, that was a Theodore again. Theodore again. Theodore. Can he see? had more than one. Can't do it again because he's the same guy. Theodore had another one in there. So. And again, some people got up to. 10 entries because you know they were yeah oh, i can't do it because it's alvin alvin all right you're already in alvin sorry. for sure theodore and alvin you come on pick something new <laughs> alvin i think you had a lot of entries in there alvin he did finally all right Ron, somebody different Ron, whatever Ron. It. and what's the last name Left, 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 so left. Run, left. That's our four winners. All right, so your the four your winners. Your faces will be in next year cards. Yep, you. Those are the four people that are gonna be there. But we're supposed to draw a fifth. The fifth oh, one are? has a chance to uh, a second chance to be entering the drawing in Chicago. In Chicago. And you have. Oh, to and get it with. doesn't matter who it is. Yeah, no, no, it actually has to be a different person, yeah. Different person. Whoa! Andrew Sirigliano. Andrew, Sirigliano. oh, I know him. He's, I think, the blue fin piper. So, let me, so Andrew, Yay. you will have a chance again to get me in this drawing in Chicago. Yay. Get together with Marek. Four winners. And he'll let you know. But the four winners, again, that will have their faces on the cards are Alvin Theodore Schron, Leanne and Wolf and Ron Shelf. And Andrew will be having a second chance opportunity in Chicago for the next drawing. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you for drawing the names. You're welcome. All right. We'll, I can see. We'll put this mess back in here. <laughs> All right. These are the 10 songs that are more, most popular during Halloween. Oh, okay. Maybe you know some of them. Tell us. Uh, time Ways. I don't know. What that's is that? I have no idea, but that's number 10. What is it called? Time Ways. Time Warp. Warp? Yeah, I think that's Time Warp. I screwed up. <laughs> I think that's the one. Oh, wait. I think that's the one in the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh. I think that's the one. That oh, okay. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I yeah. think that's the one in the Rocky Horror Picture Show. All right. Number nine, Werewolves of London. Now that one, I have no idea what it is. Isn't that the song that uh, I think it was Tom Cruise was in it singing Werewolves of London? No, no. no. Tell us I, in the I chat. Tell so. us in. The, in the, I, I think that's what it is. If you know what the heck that song yeah. is. Number eight, some song from Pet Cemetery, and actually they did huh. a new they did a new movie. I want to see it. Oh, maybe, maybe it's from That's, the good. That's from Stephen King also. Mm -hmm. That's his writing. Number seven. This is Halloween, Halloween, Halloween. Is that from The this Nightmare this Before is Christmas? Christmas? Okay. Everyone held to the phone. Give me some. Oh, I, oh, they had great songs in that movie. Yeah, but you know what? I think I screwed up because I put it again. That's so okay. I liked it twice as much. <laughs> No you more know, fun. I saw I like from that movie is, what's this? What's this? this? Yeah. Okay. And then number five, somebody, somebody's watching me. Really? I think that was from Michael Jackson. Oh. And some other guy. But he was doing the, the, the chorus. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. But what what did, what did uh, is that like in a Halloween movie that this song? No, no. Not that I remember. Okay. But I remember the song. All right. And number four, The Addams Family. Yeah. Is that the one? Da -da -da -da. You see, I can't with this. There you go. All right, number three. Spooky, scary skeleton. What the heck is that? I, I no don't know. <laughs> number two. <laughs> Ghostbusters. That one I know. Ghostbusters. 
Yes. All right. Does anybody want to guess real quick what's the number, number one, one song <laughs> for the? Is it for the Halloween season? Halloween kind of thing? season. That's number one. I'll give you a few seconds. Da, 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 da. That's the Jeopardy thing. Da, 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 da. Okay, we're gonna tell them. What this is, is it? The this is the monster mash. The monster mash. <laughs> and that's so recognizable. Actually, uh, there's no way you cannot recognize it. I actually like that song For every time sure. I hear it. All right. So, I, do we have anything else? I think this has been an hour uh, long show. My glasses are falling. I don't have any ears. I <laughs> he think, has to check on his yeah, my, injuries. My injuries are. are <laughs> I don't know if I'm bleeding, yeah. He can't think no more. I can't think no more. I had to put eyes so my, my thoughts are a little and frozen. And remember, you're supposed to guess what this is. So, again, for the VR, if you want to win a pipe. And, again, this uh, giveaway uh, is going to be pretty short. you got to do it as soon as possible because we leave in less than two weeks. And we're going to pick a winner before then. So, do it uh, this week, maybe next week. That's it. That's all you have. Put a VR out, uh, talk about, you know, tell us what movie this was, tell us about what you like to do during this time, favorite candies during this time, songs. The songs, movies that you like to watch, and that's it. Costume that's you, that you like to wear. Costume that you like to wear. And it, it doesn't have to be just Halloween, just for the whole fall season. <laughs> and that yeah, will be the... Is this called Bite? Or Bite Me or something like that? <laughs> something like that. Something like that. All right, and I wish, let me see if I had it around. I think it was close. Uh, it's from Beyond. It's the, it's the latest uh, iteration there from... Uh, let me do the right? Oh, it's right there. Yeah, Where? that one right there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Yeah. That will be our next review. We hope to do it very soon. Oh, Lord, I, my vision is going. It? Yeah. There it is. Thank from you. From Beyond. And BSD Pipes for, for sponsoring this. And this will be our next review. If you want to know, this is the new the new version. They did this a while back, and it's from that series of the old ones. And I think this is a movie, uh, a movie of uh, the same book as that movie that you like, uh, the Sleepy Hollow, the brought the Body Snatchers. Oh, yeah. that's another uh, movie Lovecraft. I, love. I think a lot a lot from a Lovecraft age something Lovecraft book. So. All right, guys, until next time, you have anything else to say? I hope you have a safe, oh, you had. Thanks for joining us. Halloween, and thank you for joining us. I hope that you loved or liked our, at least loved our content. Yes. And we're really happy to share this day with you. We wanted to do something different so that we can be, you know, we, we can have something to do on Halloween or a pipe smoke. If you enjoy it and you like to, us to do it again next year, let us know in the Absolutely. comments. Let us know in the chat. Give us a thumbs up. Give us ideas of maybe things you would like us to see or do next okay. year. And uh, until the next review, stay lit. Stay Absolutely. happy. Absolutely. Stay blessed. Bye. Bye.